So over the past few days or a couple of weeks, we've noticed a significant reduction in rainfall across the island, in particular across St. Philip, Christchurch, St. Lucie areas. And the dry conditions, uh, dry air and abundance of sunshine, that's actually leading to a lot of drying out in the topsoils across the island. And a lot of areas are actually turning brown in the fields and cane fields, etc. So I know I know a lot of the residents have noticed a lot of cane fires or grass fires that's been going on in the past few days. And today in particular was, uh, it was a pretty, I can imagine it was a really busy day for the guys in the fire service. There were a number of grass fires which uh, sparked off in um, Christ Church and uh, St. Philip area, and perhaps some parts of St. John. Uh, when these fires start on the eastern side of the island like that, or southeastern side if you may, those, the smoke would actually travel down into the Bridgetown area and some of those fires actually last for a good few hours uh, today and some of the others from the other days as well. And so this is going to make life a bit unpleasant for, for, for residents in Barbados, in particular those living in, in St. Michael and working in the Bridgetown area. We expect that these kind of conditions are going to continue uh, into March and into April where the dry conditions, particularly around St. Philip, Christchurch, St. Lucie, in particular, but for lesser extent in St. George and St. John, you will get these grass fires or cane fires will be sparking off because of the dry conditions. Um, there's not going to be any rainfall that's going to be coming in anytime soon. And so I just want all Barbarians to be aware that you can expect to see uh, the possibility of more fires uh, in the days to come and just be ready and be prepared. This is not an uncommon thing to actually happen during the dry season. But uh, I guess, oh, like what happened today, the number of fires is probably unprecedented and also the duration of the fires. So our best advice to all the public out there is that just to be aware of these things that are going to happen over the next few weeks, the possibility, and just be ready for those who have respiratory challenges, just what with necessary uh, uh, medications and, pre and take necessary precautions to protect yourself over the next few weeks. Looking into the future, um, our, our forecast is basically, like I said, March is going to be really dry. We're going to see a slight increase looking like in April in terms of precipitation and more so in May, especially coming to the end part of May. And we should see a lot more relief in the early part of June as well.